Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to B10X. Today's video is all about enhancing your productivity at work using one of the most powerful tools at your disposal, Microsoft Excel. We'll explore some tips and tricks that can make you a master at Excel. Ultimately, making your work life more efficient and organized. But before we dive in, I have something important to share. BTNX is offering an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. If you want to stay ahead in your career and harness the power of AI to boost your productivity, the link is in the description box below. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's get started with our first tip. One of the often overlooked features in Excel is the ability to change the order in which you edit cells. By default, Excel moves from left to right and then top to bottom. But did you know you can change this order to suit your workflow better? Stick around to discover how this simple tweak can significantly enhance your efficiency. For example, here you can see, I just want to enter some formula to demonstrate. I want to multiply the quantity with two. So here you can see, after entering the value, if I click enter, you can see I'm moving from that cell to, to the down cell. So if I want to stay in that particular cell only, then I have to change this settings. So go to preferences. Now here you have to click on edit. Here you can see this option after pressing return, move selection downwards, right side, upwards and left side. So I don't want to select any other option. I just want to remove this feature itself. So for that, I just have to uncheck this option. And I'm just going to close this thing. So now here, for example, I want to multiply this quantity with three. Then I'm just pressing enter. So I'm staying in that cell only. Now let's move on to our second point. Autofill is a time saver, but did you know you can customize it to match your specific needs? We'll explore some hacks to supercharge your autofill game, making repetitive tasks a breeze. Stay tuned for this Excel Ninja technique. For example, here you can see in this table, we are having department column and then employee name column. So this particular employee belongs to this department in his company. So I just want to create a list. Whenever I type department, I should get all these departments underneath in preceding cells. So let's create a custom list. For this, you have to go to preferences. Here we have to click on custom list. Here, one thing we can do, we can import list from cells. So let's do that. So I want to import from these cells. Then click on import. As you can see, then I'm clicking on 
add so our new list is added so let's try this thing so here I'm just going to enter department then I'm going to drag this thing you can see all the other departments are coming HR, finance, marketing, IT, sales, operations, research and development, customer service, engineering, administration. So if I drag this again, you can see. So again, department, HR, moving on to next point. Ever wondered how AI can assist in organizing your data? We'll explore the capabilities of ChatGPT in Excel and how it can streamline your data management tasks. This is where the synergy between human intelligence and AI truly shines. So for this one, here you can see we are having data like this, which is comma separated one. So we are having employee ID, employee name, department and joining date in one cell only which is comma separated so with the help of chart gpt i want this data to be distributed in these columns so let's do this thing so let's enter the prompt write an excel formula to extract 